One of the things we were looking to do is we have certain times of the year where attendance is a little lighter. Um, people, kids go back to school. And so we were looking at ways to kind of bridge that gap between the end of summer and also the start of our Lights Before Christmas celebration. So, you know, when looking around, uh, I found several different options that we might be able to, to utilize. And uh, one of the things that intrigued me most was with regard to the Lantern Festival here. Um, and so I found this show uh, in Wisconsin and went up, took a look at it, and it looked like something that was very intriguing. I thought that was something that would fit in very well with what we do here at the zoo. And uh, so I made a pitch and we decided to give it a try. When we first uh, came out with the information that we were going to be doing a lantern festival, people thought it was those lanterns that you light and they kind of float away. It's really not. It's really an artistic endeavor uh, where they come out and we have different exhibits or vignettes that are designed to showcase different things from animals to dinosaurs to botanicals. And in some of the areas, as you'll be able to see, they're actually combined. And it really turns out to be a very beautiful artistic expression of, of different types of things here. Uh, they're wonderful. My son's really enjoying them and enjoying your camera as well. <laughs> yeah, but he really likes them and I do. I think they did a great job on them. Uh, the lion and the trees, those, that was probably the best area with the, the trees, lions, and leaves all lit up. They can make them here. Uh, we actually, this show, we actually uh, secured from another venue. So the actual structures themselves were already made, but there are basically still rods that they can bend and shape into different uh, characters or uh, figures, if you, if you want to say it that way. And then they actually take it, it's almost uh, like a cloth that they put over it and will glue that fabric in. And it takes, it's very, and then the spray paint is very artistic in how they do it and is not an easy process. I was surprised. I was, it was a lot more involved than I thought it would be. It, it is a pretty large effort uh, involving multiple departments. We have our grounds team, we have our operations team, warehouse, maintenance. Uh, there's several different people involved with that. As far as what we're committing each week, it's probably 20 or 30 people that are going through and helping with that, and then there are another almost 30 artisans that are here helping out just getting the exhibits ready. So it's a pretty significant endeavor. The folks that are here, uh, there are Chinese artisans that we have, and they're very, very particular about these, these exhibits. And uh, they want to make sure that it, it's something that they really revere this type of festival. There, there are certain cities in China where they actually have very large festivals that last for months there. And uh, so they enjoy coming over and experiencing that or sharing that with uh, the American culture here. And uh, I think our guests are really going to enjoy the, the experience. I think it's something different, something mm -hmm. different for people to come see. It's just a change. It's mm -hmm. just cool how they do it and how fast they did it. Within a month, they got it all done. Very beautiful. We are from Fedley, Ohio. We used to bring our daughter here starting when she was two years old, so we've been coming here about 25 years now. But I like the way they loaded up the zebras in a nice kind of dense pack there. That was kind of nice. And then, uh, a lot of these flower scenarios here have been very colorful. Well, the great thing about these lanterns is they're really designed to be enjoyed both day and night. Uh, so if a guest comes out during the month of so the end of September uh, until we get them fully set up, they'll actually be able to see the exhibits out on display. They won't be in their full glory. It's really when they're lit up that they look magnificent. But even now, during the day, they're really something to see. As we're setting them up now, you can actually see guests coming around and they're viewing them and stopping and taking pictures and they're already really enjoying the experience. So they'll be able to see those, but really to get the full effect, they'll want to do the evening event. 